In this video, I'm going to teach you about doing transparency correctly in Unity, as well as mentioning a couple of uh, common pitfalls that people run into with textures. Uh, so first of all, I've got uh, this texture here. It's a, it's a red dot in the middle and an orange line and then a transparent background. And this is what I want to, to for the point of example, uh, figure out how to do correctly in Unity. Uh, so first of all, um, I'm going to show you about the PNGs. So PNG is a pretty common format, and it's it's kind of one of my go-to formats. I really enjoy the PNG. Um, but it's got a couple of problems. First of all, the way that it compresses data, it kind of uh, treats the, the transparent pixels as you know just room to optimize. So you can see here, this is what it saves as the, the raw color data. This is a, a material without using any of the transparency. So you can see it's got this weird orange bar up here, and it's got turned the, the circle into a, uh, a square, and uh, that, it looks a little odd, but um, and this is what you, you get when you actually look at the, uh, the transparent version. So you'll see a couple of things here that aren't really desirable. Um, you can see on each of these corners, you get uh, a blend to that white color. You don't get it on the corners here because you have red as your color, but when you're trying to do the, the linear filtering on your texture, then it'll blend into the, the white in the areas next to it. And you'll see this again up here and on the sides of the texture as well. Um, so that's not, not exactly what you want to see with uh, your transparent textures. There is a better way to do this. Uh, so let me, let me first show you a few other things. So here's here's a PSD doing the same sort of thing. I just take a, a basic PSD, you know, just this. Just take this as is and save it. Um, and this is what I'll get. Um, here's without any of the transparency, and here's with the transparency turned on. We don't get any of those weird uh, areas that you'll see, um, but you do get that white blending artifact, again, only in a few more places. Uh, so doing this with just the, the basic PSD doesn't quite work. Um, now, if you do it with the, there's a special trick that you can do, and I'll show you here in a moment. Um, this, is, this is what you can do with a good PSD. And you can see here, all of this is beautiful red, and all of this is just straight up orange. So this, this is pretty much perfect. Um, I'll show you how to do this here. So first of all, uh, you'll want a background, right? I put in a background, just kind of a box and an orange box, just to make sure that everything blends properly. And this is this is what I'll export here. Uh, what you'll do now is you'll do a control click on your main layer to select the areas that you want to be visible, right? Um, you can do this with a magic wand or whatever, but control clicking on the layer is the easiest way to do it. Then you go over to the channels tab. All right, and here I've already got one. I'm going to delete it. So over in the Channels tab, with your selection highlighted, you just go down here to this uh, New Channel button, and it'll just click, and you get Alpha right there. Bing, and that's all you go. When Unity looks at your PSD, it'll see that Alpha channel, it'll recognize it as the transparency, and it will use that for transparency in the engine, which is what you're seeing right here. All right, this is a texture that's done that trick and you get the transparency. So that's what I recommend doing. Uh, above anything else, take a PSD, do an alpha layer in your, in your um, an alpha channel in your, your PSD, and you'll get good results. Now, the other thing that I, I wanna talk about here is kind of this um, border around the edges. And this border is because uh, this texture is set to uh, clamp. So if, if we take a look at this, um, Sample good. Uh, the wrap mode is set to repeat. So when it gets to one side, it basically tries to blend with the other side. So you'll get this little uh, bleed from the other edge, which you know probably isn't desirable, in, in, in especially in this case and in a lot of cases. You'll even see this on a couple of occasions with the, the textures on the fonts and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, just to, to quick show that, you'll, you'll see it. Uh, this this is with the the material set to clamp. You'll see it again up here. No clamp, clamp. All right. Um, 
so that that can drastically improve the quality of your your sprites as well especially if you're seeing like little bits and pieces snipping up on the the top sides or the edges of your your sprites uh, just be very careful about uh, that repeat mode all right you don't want that repeat mode on a lot of those textures okay same thing here bad psd but we got rid of that with the clamping yeah and this is the good PSD with clamping. So um, now the problem here is this. This is this is very much better. We have our um, I think yeah sample good clamp here. So you have our clamping on. We've got that wonderful alpha transparency stuff going on. But if you zoom in a little bit closer here, you can see we've got a blurry edge on the inside, and we've got a sharp edge on the outside. Now that's because this is actually running up against the edge of the material or of the the geometry itself so when it runs into that it just completely stops it doesn't do any blending it's done uh, so it drops off right there and maybe that's what you're looking for but in most cases it probably isn't um, and people will notice stuff like this a difference in sharpness right there is kind of a, a big deal so uh, what I what I did for the the final version here uh, which which is right here, you can see this is uniformly beautiful, consistent throughout. Uh, in this one, I have, I just deleted an edge around the, the border here so it doesn't actually uh, line up against everything. So, you know, you, it interpolates correctly between the edges and you get that uh, same fuzzy sort of thing. Um, now, this only happens when you're zoomed in really far, but it's consistent, which is, which is the good bit. So there we go. Um, use the use the alpha channel for for doing transparency. Be careful about your uh, clamp wrap mode um, or re repeat wrap mode. And make sure that your uh, texture is set up properly to deal with that. Uh, you could honestly still leave this in um, in a repeat mode, and it would still look fine because it's got the borders done appropriately anyhow. So. Uh, just be careful about those things, keep them in mind, and uh, happy transparency.